Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time. As you see, not many people are still waiting for us. Um, hmm, Saturday, people are asleep maybe. Um, but anyway, you know, uh, I will try today to make my video really shorter. And um, I might even disactivate the chat because the chat always make it long. Our topic today is about the night of power or what the Muslim they call it Laylatul Qadr. Uh, instead of me giving you introduction for this night, so let us see what the Muslim says about it. What is this night? This is what makes it or breaks it. Tonight, we have the same feeling. These are the 10 blessed nights, the last 10 blessed nights of Ramadan. <laughs> so guys, this is the night of power, but it's the last 10 nights. Why? Later we will find out why. I mean, this is the most stupid cult ever. So there's a night, which is Allah mentioned in the Quran. And if you pray in this night, is equal to 1,000 months. Equal to what? 1,000 month. Okay. So if I pray in this night, if I pray in this night, as I've, I prayed for 83 years, I mean, do you see how important it is? The Muslim, he spent all his life praying, but one night he pray. <laughs> okay, but when this night is, brother and sister, if you wanna pray this night, pray in the last 10, 10 days of Ramadan. What he said? Pray the last 10 months of, 10 days of Ramadan? Why Allah did not tell you when it is? You Muslim do not know where it is? I mean, how come it's so important to the point that it's equal to 83 years and four months? But you do not know where it is. Yeah. He said the last 10 days of Ramadan. <laughs> that and other crazy stuff I will show you later soon why whenever they started the Prophet والسلام, used to change his entire system oh boy Well, what he do? What he do? He, as Mother Aisha and others say, used to tighten his waist wrapper. Oh boy! <sighs> that's that's how you can get close to Allah. Hmm. You tighten your waist wrapper. And this is a metaphor for not having intercourse with his wives. <laughs> metaphor. No comment. <laughs> Some say, no, this is also a metaphor for wanting to do hard labor and to... And some, they say, at what? He would do what? Hard labor? labor? <laughs> so we jump from intercourse to hard labor. Okay, okay. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's time is very, you know, some they say, some they say. Uh -huh. Work, mm -hmm. this is what you do. Yeah, you want to go to the gym, you know, the prophet, when I go to the gym. Mm -hmm. When you want to do that. Mm -hmm. And he, w he used to wake up his wives. His wives, his wives. Hey wives, 
Hey, all of you, you, you and you too, and the one under the bed, <laughs> and the one in the shelf, the one in the refrigerator, where are you? You know, he wake up all his wives. Man. Normal nights, he would pray night prayer on their own. They want to pray. Oh. It's okay. Okay, cut that crap. Let us see how stupid this religion is. First of all, the Muslim do not know when this night is. And just to show you that Muhammad is a big, big, big fat of fraud. Look at this. When we should find the night of power. The Prophet says, Seek Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Okay, so the last 10 days of Ramadan. That's wonderful. Are you sure, Muhammad? Some people were shown that night of Qadr is being at the last seven days of the month of Ramadan. Okay. The Prophet says the last ten days of Ramadan. Okay. That's wonderful. Okay. So, is it in the beginning of the month of Ramadan or at the end of the month of Ramadan? Ramadan? Different hadith says, no, it is in the beginning of Ramadan. Read carefully. Find it in the sixth, in the sixth, and the seven, and the and the and the ninth, and the seven, and the five, and the fifth. Is it at the end of Ramadan or it's in the beginning of Ramadan? Different hadith. Find it in the first ten days of Ramadan. Like what? You just said the last ten days of Ramadan. The Prophet said, find it in the last 10 days of Ramadan. And then the Prophet said, find it in the first 7 days of Ramadan. Actually, there's a hadith. I, I wish I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Where a, where, a, where a Bedouin man, he says, what's wrong with you? Is it the beginning or the end? <laughs> oh. Oof. Is it? Then Muhammad, he come with a new story. He said here that the Prophet came out to inform them about Laylatul Qadr, which means he will tell them the date. Okay, I mean, I mean, the guy is there, he's alive, and still they cannot find the date that the, which night was that night. The Prophet is there, and Muhammad himself do not know. But finding two Muslim disputing. Together, he said, I came out to inform you about the night of power, but so and so and so and so and so and so and so has dispute, and the knowledge of it has been withdrawn. Like, what? So I go out to the street to tell those who believe in me as a prophet when the night of the power is, is the date is. Finally, I guess I discover it. Allah told me. And then I open the door, I find two Muslims fighting, and then I forgot. Eh, Allah took it back. <laughs> Hold on. This is a different hadith. And don't tell me Muslim that this is weak and this garbage. You know, this is not weak. People will laugh at you, trust me. The Prophet said, the Abu Huraira, the father of the cats, he said, I was showing the Laylat al Qadr, then some members of my family woke me up. And I was caused to forget it, like, what the heck? But in different story, he just said he went out and he found two Muslims fighting, and this is what made him forget it. In this story, he says his family, they will make him forget it. The conclusion, Muhammad himself do not know when the night is. When the night is. As you know, 
the night of decree known as Laylatul Qadr is to be looked for within the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan. More likely within the odd nights from amongst the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan. More likely to be within the second half. Which means <laughs> More likely. And, and you know, here you will see that just to show you how stupid this cult is. Okay, the last 10 days of Ramadan, is that in June or in July or in February? or in March. This is the calendar for the night of power for starting from 2016, 17, 18, 19. Look brother, in the year 2016, the night of power was July number, July 2nd. <laughs> in 2017, it is June 21st. Uh -huh. In 2018, it is June 10. 2019 is June 1, 2020 is May 19, 2021 May 8, 2022 it is April 28, in 23 is going to be April 17, in, April, in, in 24 is going to be April 5th, March 26, March 15 and 26, year 26. So, what, I mean, what's wrong with this religion? So the night of power is a night if you pray it, you get equal prayer or blessing from Allah of 83 years. But as you see, this night of power is messed up and nobody knows where it is. And how this night is so holy to the point will give you 83 years, but it's come in June and then goes to July and go to April and go to March and go like, what is, it's all over the place. Here you need to ask yourself, the one who made this fabrication, is he stupid? Because if there is a holy night, this night should be in a date. It could not be a holy night in July and then holy night the same night in, in, in February or in December or in January because as you see, this calendar keep moving. So how it is a holy night, but yet, it's all over the place. And the same for Ramadan. This is the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan. How we fast Ramadan? Ramadan means the, the, the month of heat. How in the world the month of heat come in December or January or February or March? And why it keep moving? That is because Muhammad the fool, he decided to delay, or let us say to delete, sorry. An important month the Arab used to add to their calendar, or let us say a moon. <clears throat> you know the word shahar in Arabic is not an or Arabic word. It's a it's a word mean moon. And the Arab used to add every three years thirty three days. Thirty three days. Muhammad, because he's a genius, eh, he said we don't want them. But by doing so, the calendar is messed up. So the month of heat is coming in December. The month of Hajj, switch, everything is switch because this is what the Arab calendar was before Muhammad. He did not create it. They used the lunar, lunar calendar. And they tried to fix it by adding the 33 days we mentioned. But because Muhammad, he himself, is very foolish and he do not know how important to keep that month. He do not know by deleting this month what he will do. He decided to do it. What the Quran say about this month? Let us see. <clears throat> <laughs> 
Read carefully. Do you see what they do? They used to add a one month. The translation here is not honest. They used to add one month to the calendar. What Muhammad he claimed that adding this month is just to deceive you. It's from the kuffar. Is evil. I mean, how adding one month will be evil? They are fixing it. This is the correct way to do it. You have to fix the calendar because the lunar calendar is 11 days shorter than the correct calendar. So in order to fix this, they add 11 days, let us say, uh, uh, every three years, they fix the month to go back where it used to be the correct place by adding one month more. Muhammad, he told them that Allah told me that this month is the month of Adding that is evil, is kuffar behavior, is an action of disbelief. How adding one month is an action of disbelief? And how this is the month of Hajj, which Allah He assigned to you to be in a certain month, now is moving from place to place to place. Which month is the month of Hajj? How you can even call it a month? How you can how you make July in June? And how you make June in, Jan in January? And how you make February in August? Because this is what happened. When Muhammad, he deleted this month, and he claimed that this is an action of disbelief, this is a kufr. He destroyed his stupid cult again. And this is why we see how messed up the Islamic calendar. Now, not to mention, I mean, how, what is the logic of anyone to believe for a second that if you pray for one night is equal to 83 years? Who is the stupid when I believe in this? Is that even just? And as long as this night is very powerful, where it is, how come the Prophet of Allah, he forgot? Is it the Quran says Allah will forbid Muhammad from forgetting anything about Islam? Oh, they will say to you, it says, accept what Allah He will. <clears throat> well, if Allah He will, why He made you forget it? Secondly, if this is the night where Muhammad He received the Quran, it must be the most important thing happened to Muhammad. Muhammad can't remember it. Secondly, did Muhammad receive the Quran in one night? Any Muslims in the chat? Did Muhammad receive the Quran in one night? So all those years he received the Quran, it was only in the night of power? He received Quran like once a year every night of power? Or he received Quran every few days or every few weeks? And when a man, he say, <clears throat> that Allah, he told me when the night of power is, and then I woke up and my wives make me forget it. How that can happen? Any Muslim have an answer? Eighty-three years of a prayer equal to one night, and yet the Muslims do not know what it is. And this night can come in July, can come in February, can come in December, can come any time. What is this? Is it even just that a person he pray for one night? So why I want to pray for the rest of my life? I pray in the night of power. Even the name itself is sound like a porn movie. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? And how come Allah 
he made a verse saying that adding this month is against Islam. Isn't it Allah against having a correct calendar? Muslims, Allah, he don't want you to have a correct calendar. Is it wise to make the month of July in January? How that, how that is a sign of kufr if you keep July in July and January in January? How this is against Allah? Any Muslim? So I go to pray for one night and then Allah gave me a reward of 83 years. But I will tell you why Muhammad he made up this story. If you notice the Quran, Muhammad is trying to create Arabic music. I know that most of you do not know Arabic, but just to show you how this stupid Muhammad, just to make a rap song, which is very funny and silly, he destroyed his stupid uh, his religion. So in the Anzal now who feared it Qadr. So the last letter is R. Qadr. R, R. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْتُ الْقَدْرُ And what is Laytul Qadr? I mean, what? what? <laughs> Guys, uh, uh, we send it down in the night of uh, Wednesday. And what is the night of Wednesday? I mean, what is this? This is, this is God talking? We send it in Wednesday, and what is the day of Wednesday? Genius. So I have to end it with R again. And then he says, the night of Al-Qadr, is equal to 1000 shahar you have to find the word end with r he cannot he cannot e say equal to a week because that will not be r the end the last letter r so in order to just keep it r he exaggerated extremely and he made it equal to a thousand month and now we have a verse in the Quran saying that one night of a prayer is equal of a thousand months, i.e. 83 years, as you see even in the Muslim translation. <clears throat> Just because you want to add R at the end, you want to keep it like the tone. Yesterday I saw a rat and he was extremely fat and he hid under my hat. Uh, yeah, and, let, and the list go on. And by the way, the Muslim they say, say to you will recite the Quran. This is a, this is a stupid rab. And the, but the funny is, can you explain to us what's happening? Okay, you recite it. Here we go. What and and don't look. They're in the send the angels and the spirit. Okay, hold on, hold on. And look what the Muslim they put for you between bracket. Jibril. Look, hold on. Is in the Quran all of it came by Jibreel alone? So how the angels and the ruh is angels are same as Jibreel? So if Jibreel is an angel, so what a ruh? Ruh means spirit. <laughs> the Muslim they say the ruh is Jibreel, but Jibreel is an angel. So if you cannot say the angels and the ruh. And if this verse is accurate, that means Muhammad, he cannot receive Quran any day except in this day. And that will destroy all of Islam together. Any Muslim have a comment? So when we hear those Muhammadans speaking about uh, the night of power, brother and sisters, the night of power, mystery yes brother what happened in the night of power and why it is at night you know 
I mean, is it did, did Jibreel came to Muhammad at daytime or night time? When Jibreel came to Muhammad at night time or in daytime? Well, if he come in at night time, then how Muhammad he was able to count his angels, six hundred angels, six hundred wings. Wait, hold on. You know, we Arab, we can look at a, like a bunch of a cucumber and we can give you the number right away. Like if the angel told him I have second wings and he is studying, he is studying from the Jewish stories and he's studying from the Old Testament stories. But because it's a food, he has to add some spices. Let us see. Hmm. All right, guys, listen to this carefully. At the distance of one bow or near year, okay, if, if an angel is so big and he covered the horizon and he is now less than 90 centimeters away from you, how do you can count his, angel, his, his wings? I mean, he's so big, he covered the horizon. How Muhammad was able to count his 600 wings? And if it's night time, it's impossible. It must be daytime. So the night of power is not when Muhammad you receive the Quran. Right? Hmm. He saw Jibreel in his original form and he had 600 wings. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Anyone notice something? Oh, Lord have mercy. You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. I'm not insulting, but I find the stupidity is amazing. Okay, how Muhammad he saw Jibreel with 600 wings and the Quran says that the angels they have two and the three and four wings. Oh boy. Chapter 35, verse number one. All praise be, praise and thanks to Allah. Allah saying, all praise be to Allah. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? If Allah is talking, obviously this is not Allah talking, there's somebody making a book. There's somebody writing a story. I'm writing a story, I'm writing something, I believe in something, I say all praise to Jesus. Why? Because I believe Jesus is my God, makes sense. But Allah writing, all the praise be to Allah and thanks to Allah. I'm going to write a book about me. Uh, all thanks and praise to Christian friends. And we thank you, Christian friends, for your service. And Christian friends, really, we appreciate you. Uh, um, praise, you know, we praise you and uh, we see, really appreciate uh, your service. And uh, we say thank you very much. And uh, uh, all the praise to Christian friends, you know. And thank you very much, uh, Christian friends, for your service. And really, absolutely appreciate you. What is this? This is God thanking God for his angels. This is God thanking God for his service. So Allah is saying to Allah, thank you Allah and praise to you Allah. Remember the Quran is word of word by word from Allah. So they cannot say Muhammad is talking. Okay. The originator of the uh, the heaven and the earth and the Muslim, they add the word only. I love the word only. <laughs> so how is only if the Quran says he is the best of the creators? But anyway, this is a different topic. 
So Allah is saying the praise be to Allah and thanks to Allah, the originator of the uh, heaven and the earth. Allah is saying that. Do you see why I don't have a mirror in my house? Otherwise, I would be talking to myself saying, thank you, Sibi. We appreciate you, Sibi. You are so cute, Sibi. What is that? And then the craziness is continue. Who made the angels messengers with wings? Uh -huh. Okay, they are made them with wings. So when the angel came to Mary as a man, what is the wings? Uh, they are gone. Two or three or four. And he increased in his creation, but the Muslim will say to you, see, it says he increased in creation. No, it says two and three and four. The increase is about his creation. He can create more things. Read the interpretation. So the Quran says the angels have two and three and more. And by the way, how in the world an angel will have three, three wings? Hmm? How the angel, he will have three wings. Let me try to find out, let's use him for this. So this is Mr. Zibril. Let us find an empty space so we can draw. I know you like your guys, you like my drawing. Can you reach Zach and Nike in YouTube? Who is Zach and Nike? My friend, give me a break. He's just a kid. Zach and Nike is a smart for the fool. So this is the angel Zibril. Okay, or any angel, angel, this is an angel. This is an angel, let us make him look like an angel. Okay, now he is going to have uh, uh, wings. Okay, wing, this is the, this is his legs, you know, he have legs. So, this is the first wing. Okay, wonderful. And this is the second wing. Okay, wonderful. Now, where we are going to put the third wing? Muslims, an angel with three wings? Okay, we put the first wing in the right, the second wing in the left. The third wing will be where? By the way, there's many artists around the world, they contact me and they said to me, you're amazing. I mean, like, unbelievable. And they asked me if they can put my, you know, the, my drawing in a museum or something, you know? And I told them I seek refuge by Allah. I'm not seeking to be famous by this, you know? But if you want, you know, I'm very humble person like Muhammad. If you want, you can donate. And we can accept all kind of the donation, uh, including uh, uh, any, women, any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet. I mean, even women are donation. It is the end of Muhammad. Any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet? Like, is that a form of donation? Hmm. So, how he say in the Quran that angels have two or three or four, and here he saw Jibreel with 600 wings. And how it is coming to him at the night of power when the when the Quran came to him and the guy was able to count the wings. Hmm. Read the tafsir for the verse. Okay, what tafsir you like me to read for you? Guys, read the tafsir for the verse. Okay, we can go and read the tafsir for the verse. Which one you want? Which verse you are talking about? The one saying read the tafsir for the verse. Are you talking about this one? Two or three or we? Four? Or you are talking about this one? Where it says the night of uh, power. Which one? And you know, the funny is, when we show Muslims that have seer, they will regret, they will say we deny it, we don't accept it. Are you sure? You want me to show you the refuge, the, sorry, that have seer? The second we show it to you, you start flying with your 600 wings. So Muhammad, he forgot that he said in the Quran that angels have two and three and four wings. And then he said that he saw an angel, Jibreel, with 600 wings. Why? Because the Jews, they told him he has 600 wings. 
So which one do we take? Any Muslim? Until now, I don't see any answer, real answer from the Muslims. Actually, I don't know. The word Muslim doesn't fit even with them. It's Muhammadan. You know, they worship Muhammad. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for any Muslim to tell us his side of the story. So this night, the night of power, you know, which is very fishy, which Muhammad don't remember, which is very fishy, which Muhammad was reminded by Allah, but he, Allah, he made him forget it, which is very fishy. Look, look at this. The Messenger of Allah says, I was showing Laylatul Qadr. Then some members of my family woke me up. Like, okay, everything happened to you and you are asleep. Okay, now you wake up. What happened? And I was caused to forget it. So Allah remind you. And women make you forget it. Which one is more powerful? Even the bird is not, an, you know, is not like, a, you know, he's saying, no, 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 I cannot accept it. What's wrong with the birds, huh? Any Muhammadan? Then if you go to Muslim videos and you will see the drama about this night, brother, brother, sisters, this night, brother, this night, brother, if you ask Allah, he give you anything. Yeah, right, you know, we see. You know? Yeah, this is why millions of Muslims come in as refugee. I mean, just ask him to go to Europe. You know, he will give you anything you want. Yeah. We would look at the 27th as well as the 29th. But this does not mean that it is not from the 21st onwards. <laughs> Brother, make from the 27th to 29th, but doesn't mean it's not from the 21st and forward. <laughs> like he's trending them win. He's trending them win, brother. He is he's sure. I mean, do you see how sure he is? So, brother and sister, it is a from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh -huh. grant us this night. Yeah. A very powerful question asked by Aisha radiallahu anha to mm -hmm. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now take a note, it's a powerful question. And we need to know this because we need to understand and realize the power of this Eve. I'm sure we all know the verses of the Quran that were read this evening in Salatul Witr. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this night of decree is better than 1000 months. So this is why we need to realize and understand the command of Allah is sent down on this night. The instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The whole year Allah is in vacation. This is the only night he go to office. Take a note. That's fun. I want to do that. Guys, I decide from now on to come and go live in YouTube in one night a year. And we will call it the night of power. And you will stay with me. And guess what? When we finish the conversation, you'll get 83 years older. Hey, Muhammad. So it is one night equal to 83 years in what? Shouldn't you even say to us? You know, when somebody says to me, this is better than 83 years, in what? I mean, don't you notice that even the, 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 the verse is missing something? You see here it says, in the translation, i.e. worshipping Allah. Where in the verse it says that? It doesn't say that. Muhammadan. If the Quran is amazing, why we need to add the word worshipping and Allah and better in worshipping him 4,000 years and then we add i.e. If the Quran is so clear and it is Allah talking, why we need to add words to Allah to make this a stupid verse make sense in somehow? Can't Allah say is in worshipping me? He did not say that. Can't he say by praying to me? He did not say. Or what he said, this night is better than a thousand months. In what? It's better in which way? What happened?
What exactly this God is trying to say? Or what he said, this night is better than 83 years, and this is when the angels come down, and uh, it's peace until the appearance of the dawn. What about the other night? There's many nights are full of peace, so what? It's peace until the appearance. So nobody can kill you at the night of Al Qadr? How many how many Muslims uh, 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 get killed by Muslims in the night of Al Qadr? We can count endless names. What is this? Thank you. Seen C one N nine R. 6v3 i mean my friend can't you change your name so i can read your name i mean you all remind me all the time but i mean your name alone will make me forget what the night of the power is i think muhammad he met you like you look at your name look at this name c1 in nine or six is that a serial number of the prophet or something which is that man your name is more complicated than muhammad himself C C one N nine R six V six three. Okay, very clear, very clear, very clear. Okay, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Hmm. Any Muslim? Hmm. What is this? What this God is saying? Uh, okay, we send it down in the night of Qadr. Is that the true Muslims? Did Muhammad receive the Quran in this night? No. You Muslims agree that Muhammad receiving Quran every few weeks or every sometime in the same day more than once. So this is a lie. This is cannot be written by Muhammad. If Muhammad is saying because he, there's no way he's such much a full, you know, full person. I mean, this is stupid because. You Muslims and Muhammad knew better that Allah He sent the Quran supposedly to Muhammad within many years and not in one night. Like when Muhammad he had a fight with his wives, Allah gave him the verses before that fight happened. Did he deliver him the Quran in one spot? You go and read all, watch all the Muslim videos, they will say, no, the Quran came in stages. So this is a lie. This is not true that Allah, he sent the Quran in this night. And look, the Muslim, they put for you between the bracket, this Quran. Where, okay, why Allah don't say about the Quran? I mean, what's wrong with this Allah, the one who wrote this book? Verily we sent it down. Okay, in Arabic, you see, it's not like in English. You see, in English, you say it for an object, like a dog or a tree or a book. Hmm? But here, it doesn't. we don't know if it's a person or it is an object, because it says Anzal Nahu. In Arabic, we don't have such a thing. Anzal Nahu can be for an object can be for a book, it can be for a human, it can be for an angel. Okay. So Allah sent down what? We don't know. It doesn't say the word Quran. If you change the translation by changing the Abdul, just to change the Abdul, switch from Abdul to Abdul. Uh, let us see this is, uh, Abdul Yusuf Ali. Hmm. We have revealed this message. Where is the word are we revealed? Look, look, look how they change. One it says we send down, the other one it says we revealed. Where is the word revealed? And where is the word message coming from? Here you see the weakness of the stupid book. Because if the book is not a stupid, you do not need to add all those words to make sense of it. Did Allah forget to say the message? Did Allah forget to say we revealed? Because it doesn't say we revealed. It says we send it down in the night of power. According to translation here. Change the translator. Shakir. Muhammad Shakir. By the way, all of them they start with Muhammad. Unbelievable. Surely we revealed on the grand night. Look, we revealed what? And where is the word revealed? It says we send down. 
Can we find one decent translation? Change it. Go to Sarwar. Sarwar. We revealed the Quran in the night of destiny. Night of destiny. It's a night of destiny. Okay. Yeah, because it says Al Qadr. He's right. You know. <laughs> Change the translator. You notice that you are like jumping like a monkey. We send this between to break it down. Thank you very much. Finally, there is a decent Muslim. He gave an accurate translation. You see, he put between two brackets the Holy Quran. It's not there. So all what he says, we send this down. Okay, we send what? You send a chicken. You send falafel. What you send down exactly? Okay. And you Muslims, why you are adding here something not from the Quran? In the name of Allah, the most merciful. Do you see that that doesn't have a number? I thought the Muslims you don't add things. This is not from the Quran. Why you add it? In the name of Allah, the most merciful. You see, verse number one start here. That means the chapter does not have in the name of Allah. Why you add it? Oh, we Muslims we don't add things. So okay, Allah start talking by saying we send down. That's it. I mean, look at this God. Muhammad he sent received verse from Allah saying, We send down this in the night of uh, destiny. Huh. So then Muhammad says, You send what? Secondly, don't you think it's too late to tell him what you send it? Because you send it already. I mean, when the chapter this one came, came when? Any Muslim? <laughs> too much questions, too much, right? I mean, too much. You know? Be honest with me, are not you getting dizzy? I mean, well, you know, now you know why they will not call me. Because imagine your wife, she gave birth to a baby. And now he is 19 years old. And now I'm telling you, your wife, she gave birth to a baby. Don't you think it's too late? Are you getting my point, guys? The chapter of the power is in the Quran today, chapter number 97. But according to the real Quran, according to Muslims, was given to Muhammad as a chapter 25. So Muhammad received a 25 chapter, and now you are telling him, when you send it, <laughs> oh boy! Uh, I remember once, you know, I register for health insurance. The government uh, they sent me a letter to remind me that my health insurance is ex registered. Uh, not the government, sorry, the company. And uh, I received the letter a year after my health insurance expired. Expired. And they are telling me that your health insurance is, uh, you know, is activated. It's going to be expired by the date of etc. And I look at the date and I look at the date today and I look at the moon, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon, I look at the prophet, and I went crazy. Muslims, can you tell me how in the world Allah is sending this verse after 25 chapters? Because Muhammad already received 25 chapters before it. So what the point of this? You are telling him when the night happened? After how many years? Like what? Is that six years after, seven years after?
somebody is saying nonsense, my friend, what is wrong with you? Don't say that. Stephen, my friend, Stephen saying nonsense, my friend. See, Stephen, I get upset from you now. I will ask Allah to curse you. There's a guy, I cursed him by Allah, he won the lotto. <laughs> <laughs> there is somebody trying to translate my book and he said to me uh, I feel like I know uh, Allah trying to stop me I said I said to him my friend if Allah he can stop you he stopped me me before you more than 20 years ago before I write my books and all the books I'm writing and she should stop me don't you think it's too late so before he stop you he should stop me the one who wrote the books not the translator <laughs> And by the way, I'm, I assure you that one day Christian Prince, he will die or get sick or something. They will say, Allah punish him. Brother, Allah punish him. Record my voice, record my voice, Muslims. Allah punish him, yeah. Now Allah uh, punish me. I mean, all those years I'm making the, you know. Uh, no, you know, Allah, he wait, Allah. Allah, he wait. Allah, he wait. Okay. <laughs> Is that what happened to Muhammad? He died by poison? Allah punish you. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so do we have any Muslim can answer? All this chapter doesn't make sense. And nowhere in the Quran here in this verse, it says, if we can correct a verse, that Allah is sent down the Quran. Where is the word Quran? Don't you think there's the most important word in the chapter is missing? We send down what? Especially he says we send down this. This what? Any Mohammedan? No, no, Stephen, I'm just joking with you, my friend. I know what you meant. Come on. Do you think I'm slow, my friend? No, I'm not so slow. I'm slow only, uh, you know, like if you are, if you invite me for a dinner and you are going to pay. I take my time. If I will pay, you know, like I will try my best to make you like order a few things and say we have to go. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I know, I know, Stephen. You don't need to explain, my friend. I'm just joking with you. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Can you handle a joke? Unbelievable. Yeah. Any Mohammedan have an answer? Are we send down what? Where is the word the Quran? Did Allah forget it? Maybe it's dropped. How this is can be from God? We send down this. This what? Why we need to add between two bracket the Holy Quran? Can't Allah add it? We send down this. Even the language is stupid, the mean is stupid, and doesn't make sense. We send it to you in the night of uh, jacuzzi. And what do you know about the night of jacuzzi? Is that a question or explanation? You know, when you read, you think there's explanation, right? Okay, so we send this in the night of jacuzzi, and then what would could you know about the night of jacuzzi i mean are you kidding me is that a quiz is allah explaining or confusing us and what is the night of jacuzzi here you take a moment like you think deeply like so allah is saying to me we send this in the night of this and what is this <laughs> So what we send? We send this in the night of this. So what is this? Beep. That's very deep. That's God talking, my friend. We send this in the night of this. So what is this? Is anyone is confused? By the way, there's a guy he's upset from me in Patreon. He got upset. He said he's going to delete his donation for me for one dollar, which he did not even send yet. I mean, you just subscribed yesterday. He sent me a message second day. <laughs> Thank you.
you for your support. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I was going to send him a message saying to him, you, you sent to me this and what is this? <laughs> oh boy. I have I have a, I have a muscle pain, you know. I did some uh, wrong move. It's hurting me really badly. I don't know how long, you know. Doctor, uh, that I, I did read the hadith. The hadith says this will take a few months to be recovered from. It hurt. So I, we send this, and what is this? What could you let you know about this? Okay, this is better than a thousand months. Okay, this is what? This is what? The night of this is better than this. We send this in the night of uh, destiny. And what could you know about this? Any Muhammad and have any answer? So when you hear the Muslims in their videos, you think you are talking about something really serious, holiness. Uh, Jannah for us. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, look what uh, Mr. Jannah he said to us. Welcome, Mr. Jannah. Your name, by the way, Jannah, which is very funny, because even that word is a, is a theft. Okay. What Jannah? Jannah and Jahannam, they are two words Muhammad has told them, but maybe different of topic. Wait, why you laugh? Why don't you read the interpretation? You are you saved by grace or work? You cannot answer. Ah, you are the one who sent the text message in the previous video. Let us laugh about, about what you say. First of all, as long as you admitted that you cannot understand this without interpretation, that's mean you cannot understand this by Muhammad. That's mean you cannot understand this by Allah. That means the Quran is not made to be understood unless you bring somebody is smarter than you. Secondly, how the smarter person than you he can make a sense of it when Allah he said nothing is he connected to Allah? Now, when you say, are you saved by the grace or work? Very good question. In Islam, you are saved by saying Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah one hundred times. In Christianity, we don't have such a thing. Only God forgiveness can save you. Your work is a sign of a fruit, but not the reason to be forgiven. Which means, the Lord He said, "From their fruits you shall know them." So, if you are a Christian, you cannot be a person who have a bad fruit. You cannot be a Christian and you are a thief. You cannot be a Christian and you are a criminal. You cannot be a Christian and you are a drug dealer. You cannot be a Christian and you beat your wife, or you have four wives from their fruits, but it's not the fruit will save you, but the fruit is a proof that you are a true person. So you are always saved by the grace. We answer you. Now, how you can answer me about your prophet saying, if somebody says, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times will be saved. Is your prophet making fun of you? Or Islam is a city cult? So now Christian Prince, he go, after all what he said about Allah, making fun of Allah, he says, Subhanallah, 100 times. That's it. Allah forgive my sin, brother. <laughs> Is that a joke? <laughs> the glory, praise be to Allah. Read carefully and laugh. You see, the Muslims are busy. They don't want to question their stupidity. They want to question, are you saved by the work or by the grace? Just to show you how stupid you are, your prophet was copying even the Christians. He said exactly the same as I just said. Let us see. But before we go there, look what your, what your prophet said. Whoever recite this 100th time in the morning and the evening, will not be suppressed in the day of resurrection. Okay, so, uh, uh, so what? Subhanallah. Like what? 
If I say this, subhanallah, 100 times, I'll go to heaven. That's deep. That's deep. Now, just to show you what you said to me, how your prophet is copying us, because he is a fraud. Read carefully, Abdul. You Muslims are ignorant. You do not know your religion. Read carefully. You, Christ, you Muslim, you fun, make fun of the Christians, saying that we are going to be saved by the grace of God. The work, the Bible says, faith without work is a dead faith. So the work is important, yes. The Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. Yes, this is how you recognize it. Otherwise, that will make you a hypocrite. Look what your prophet said, copy in the Bible, Abdul. Abu Huraira, the father of the cat, reported that Allah Messenger saying, none of you rescued by his work. Are you there, Abdul? Where's the guy, Abdul, who said to me, are you saving the grains? Where are you? Are you still alive? So Muhammad, he lied to you when he says to you, if you say, subhanallah, you are forgiven because all your work is a false. He lied to you when he said, if you give me money, I'll forgive you. Because as you see, none of you will be secured by his work. He was asked if not even he would. He replied, not even I, unless Allah cover me with his mercy. Do you see it? Are you there, Abdul? Now what you will do, you will put your head in, 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 instead of your tail and you will run away. So they make fun of you because they are ignorant. The same as Didat. Didat was saying, hey, your Bible, error in the Bible, it says that God created light on Wednesday. <laughs> Bring Didat to me. I will make him. She's come up in two seconds. <laughs> Oh boy. You see, when the Muhammadan they make fun of you, they are making fun of themselves. Where does your book say I am three worship me? That's a good question. That's a good question in the book of Genesis right away you open it. It says God and his spirit. Your God Allah is not a spirit. This is why when a Muslim he says to you, We Christian and Muslim worship the same God, tell him you are a liar, that's not true, and you are deceiving us. Our God is a spirit. Your God is not. So from the first chapter in Genesis, it says, God and his spirit. Is that true? Okay, so this is God the Father, and this is the spirit. And then God, he came as a man to Abraham. And Jesus said, Abraham, he saw my day and he rejoiced. They said to him, Oh, he saw your day and you are not even 50 years old. Do you want me to show you that your Allah is a man too? And you look like Jesus? Hmm. The potatoes. Everything that Muhammad he have is a theft. Everything. Nothing he have is not a theft, either from the Hindus, like the black stone, the vagina, the stone of fertility, or Ramadan, which is the month of the Sabian, or the month of, or sorry, the night of the power, because the night of the power, the Sabian, they have it too. They have the same night. I think it is in the in the month of July every year, but because they have a correct calendar, not like Muhammad. Uh, I think it is, I forgot when, I think maybe 13 of July, every 13 or something like that, you know? So every year, hold on. Uh, anyways, this is not important. So Muhammad, he is copying everything from somebody. The spider story from the Jews. The ant story from the Jews, the gatekeeper from the Jews and from the Christians. 
the uh, the seven heavens the the seven days the blessed seven days uh, god he created the earth and the heaven in six days okay there's nothing this there's nothing called islam islam is a collection of other beliefs and muhammad he wanted to be a prophet for everybody this is why in the quran he made a verse saying that the most three famous religion in his time if he knew about the hindus trust me he would mention them he said they will go to heaven he said the christians and the jews and the sabian how in the world those who worship stars will go to heaven how muhammad he can promise them such a thing The Sabi and they believe that angels are the creators. They are they are gods. There's levels, there's ranks of gods. How Muhammad believe in them? How he promised them heaven? Actually, I challenge you to show me one story in the Quran is not a theft from somebody. I challenge you. This is why you will see that the Arab, they keep saying to Muhammad that this is nothing but fairy tales. The Arab, they are not fooled. They told Muhammad from the first day, you are an idiot. And those are nothing but fairy tale stories. All those verses in the Quran saying the same. The Kuffars, they said to him, this is nothing but fairy tales. This is nothing but we heard from before. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, the Quran challenged the Arab to make Quran like this. But look what the Arab, they said to him. He said, we will not make this. We can make better. You see it? We have heard them. If we wished, we could speak like it. But they are nothing but the fairy tale of the ancient. What do you think? Uh, Jawad White, why don't you deal with my point? What is your point, Jawad? You have a point? I don't know. It looks like you have more point than your prophet. What is your point, Jawad? Jawad, you have a point, guys. I did not see them. I'm going back in text to see the point of Jawad. Okay. Okay, no, your God is not a spirit. He has a, f a father's and wings. He is a chicken. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let us see. I'm going to put the verse. You know, here we go. Let's take, let us take a, a selfie and so we can laugh. All right. Are you happy? Here we go. I took a selfie for you. And by the way, the whole point is the Muslim, they want to try to change the topic. But just to show you how desperate they are. Poor people. Very poor people. Hold on. I will put your selfie in the, in the screen so everybody can laugh at you. I mean, your intelligence is amazing. <clears throat> All right. This is your text. In the front of everybody, Jawad, are you willing to call me? And we will read the book of Psalm together. And at the same time, we are going to show you that your prophet, he said that Allah, he right in the top of a rooster. And it is your God who wished to be a chicken? In the book of Psalm, 19, Psalm 91, it says that God is a feather. He has a feather and he is a chicken. <laughs> I mean, stupidity is amazing. Uh, Abdul. Can you tell me where, what verse exactly it says our God have a feather? Can you tell me where in 91 it says God have a feather, my friend? Because I have it in the front of me. I'm waiting for you. Otherwise, I'm going to show you your God, Allah. He is riding in the, in the top of a rooster. I'm waiting. Let us show you. Anyone can go right now and read the book of Psalm 91. 
and you will see how they lie. You know, you're gone. You know, you know. All of us, we knew that this is nothing but a metaphorical. Secondly, you're idiot. You see, the Muslims when they when they speak about a book, do you know even who is talking? Do you know who is talking? I can meditate and say, "As God, He cover me with His, uh, 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 let us say, a light. He can He cover me with with my uh, uh, with His glory. He cover me." This is all is a metaphorical. But nowhere in Christianity, neither the Jews believe that God have a feather, and you are a scam, like your prophet. However, let us see the God who ride in the top of a rooster. Shall we? Let us go. And now he will say, I don't accept this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Give me a second. Let us find the hadith. And not only that, Allah, he created himself from the sweat of a horse. Allah is created from the sweat of a horse. And I will show you the reference too. So you don't say we are making things up. All right, we found it. Give me a second. And I'm going to use Google Translation so you don't say we are making things up. Okay, here we go. This is the Islamic Library. Al Mustadrak fi Sahihain, Al Sahihain, Kitab al Adab. تسبيح ديك رجله في الأرض وعنقه تحت العرش حديث نمبر 7883 أخبرنا etc from 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 إن الله أدنى لي أن أحدث عن ديك رجل رجله في الأرض وعنقه من مثنية تحت العرش الله يقول لهم To tell you that there is a rooster his head is under the throne of Allah and his feet and down in the ground this is the hadith number and this is the hadith translated by Google God authorized me to inform you that there is a rooster his feet in the ground and his neck is under the throne and he say, Al -cuckoo 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 -cuckoo. <laughs> now let us show you another hadith where Allah himself is a created from the sweat of horses from what from the sweat of horses hmm. and I know you will say who cares if you accept or not this is your books This is your book. <clears throat> the book of Lisan al Mizani ibn Hajar, variant number two, page number three, two, three, nine. Hmm. Okay. And here you see that they are attacking the one who mentioned this hadith. Saying how this person he says such a thing, you know, but this is what you Muslim believe. If you don't like him, prove him wrong. Look what I say. Uh, he is saying here from one from the most uh, well known liars, uh, there is somebody, his name, uh, etc. Okay, okay, 
so they are speaking about this person they said here that this person he said uh, about al ahwazi or the hadith this is a book speaking against it by the way oh, but I'm trying to find the hadith where is the hadith Uh, hold on. Here we go. Oh, we click on the wrong page. Give me a second. Translate to English. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, where is the hadith translation? Okay. From, 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 from. Um, I don't know. The translation here in English is gone. Is, is gone. That Allah created himself from the sweat of horses. The translation is messed up. Where is the horses? Where is... Anyone see the word horse? I don't see it. Google translation fail. But no problem. Ah, here we go, actually. The translation is very, you know, very funny. And again, they will say to you, this is a weak hadith. Uh, but, uh, but where is the rest? They are gone. Hold on, give me a second. Let us try to copy the hadith. Uh, and open it in Google Translation as a page, not as a the whole page. Actually, this is here a Muslim website. You see, the Muslims, they fight each other about what they believe. I will translate the whole page just to show you some ideas about Muslims what we believe. <coughs> okay. Uh, here, Allah, he lay down and Allah, he put a leg in the top of the other leg. He lay down and put a man. It's a translation is very far. You know, it's a put, put a leg. Allah, he lay down and he put a leg in the top of the other leg. Another hadith. Uh, for sure, this is according to them. You know, it depends who is the person. It's a false hadith when they want. Uh, it says here that Allah he raised a horse, and he he created himself from his sweat. He created the horse until he sweat. Then he created himself from the sweat of the horse. <laughs> And the list goes, it's endless. I mean, all this website is full of lists about things Allah he do as a man. Allah created himself. I mean, look, look at the stupidity. How Allah created the horse, and yet he hasn't exist yet. And then he created himself from the sweat of the horse. So if you think about it, it doesn't make sense, right? But the reason the, the, the hadith is saying that, because Allah was not in a physical form. So when Allah decided to create a physical form for him, he made the horse run. And from the sweat of the horse, he created himself. Otherwise, the story doesn't make sense. So when Allah decided to create a form for him, a physical form, as you remember, the Quran says that Allah have a shin, Allah have a hand, Allah have a fingers. So the hadith here present Allah before having those things. How he created himself? He made the horse run and sweat. And you know, we prayed for you many videos, Muslims agreeing that Allah uh, have a face, have a fingers, have a shin, have hands. We can show you the video again. Okay. Of Rami, 
was when people pray and say, Oh Allah Azza wa grant us the ability to see your face in paradise. Or when someone prays to you and says, May Allah Azza wa allow you to see Allah's face in paradise. Wouldn't this be giving Allah Azza wa Jal attributes of humans? And the answer is no. No. Allah mentioned Azza wa Jal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in Surah Al-Rahman, وَيَبَقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters. Recite the Quran. Recite the Quran. Get your best knowledge from the Quran. Where is the, where is the guy, by the way? Uh, feather, feather. Is it Allah who sent down feather on you? Are you a chicken? The Quran says that we send the book and we send the feather. But listen carefully, who is Allah? Quran. Don't devote five minutes a day, <clears throat> ten minutes a day to the Quran. No, devote more, an hour, an hour and a half to recite the Quran. Trust me, if they devote an hour and a half, they will leave Islam right away. Devote an hour? We will see. Quran and to learn what it says at the same time. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to Himself by saying that His face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. You see, remember, it's not me who is saying this is not metaphorical, this is the Muslims. Because for me, I can say, well, maybe he, maybe he meant metaphorical thing. But obviously, this is not what Islam believe. Islam believe Allah is a physical body and he have no spirit. By the way, you can search right now and you will find a clear fatwa saying that the one who believe Allah have a spirit or he is a spirit, he is not a Muslim. So, when a Muslim, he say to you as a Christian, Allah is the same God as yours. Right away you say to him, my God is a spirit, your God is not. So how we can have the same God? My God is a three person, one God, your God is not. My God is alive, your God is dead. Because there is no proof that Allah exists. Azza wa Jal, he's the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he's not created and he does not die, and he does not have an ending, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah <coughs> described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg The shin of Allah. Allah will show his leg. The legs show. All my life, I pray to Allah. And now I see, I see his, his shin. So here you see how silly they are. So they caught somebody in the Bible meditating and praising God for he made him a king, covered by glory, covered by worth. So he says, you cover me with your feather. They say, okay, you know, uh, uh, this is God, he have a feather, he is a chicken. Very silly people. But in the reality, it is you who believe that God is a shin, God is a hand. God have five fingers. In the same time, you say to us, how you worship a man. Very, very, very deceiving people. When the Muslim, they try to make fun of you, speaking against the Bible, they shoot themselves in the foot, as usual. Nothing new. All of them do, all of them, all of them they do that. All of them. I never actually saw a Muslim who don't do that. No. Anyway, any Muslim want to answer us about the topic? So nowhere in the Quran it says in the night of power that this night he sent this, this what? It doesn't say Quran. The word Quran is missing. So we send this what? 
when the night of power is you do not know which month you do not know is it in January February March April as you see it's all over the place this night is equal to 83 years in which way doesn't say doesn't even say deeds how it is equal in which way you do not know so Islam is a very stupid cult even their occasion we cannot find the occasion you know when they say to us we have to fast in the month of Ramadan when the month of Ramadan is the month of Ramadan can be in January, can be in February. Keep moving. Why? Because the silly Muhammad, he decided to delete an important month. And by deleting it, he destroyed his cult. Because simply, that month was exist for a reason. Muhammad, he claimed that adding this month is an act of kuffar or act of uh, disbelief. How that can be? So the month which was exist for thousands of years before Muhammad to correct the lunar calendar, the stupid Muhammad, he took it off he claimed that this is an act of disbelief. Anyone knows why Muhammad he claimed that this is an act of belief, disbelief? Who want to help me? Do you know why he said that? That this is an act of disbelief to add one month every three years? Let us see if, if one of you can think fast. Remember this one month added every three years to correct the lunar calendar which is something even the Jews they practice they have to add days in order to the year in order to fix it so the Jews they celebrate in the month of Nisan the moon of the Nisan why it a fixed date but how we can have it a fixed date and you have a lunar calendar simply by adding days to the year to we can fix it because the lunar calendar is not correct so look what muhammad he did he canceled this month why because muhammad the fool in different verse he said that allah his religion for him the calendar is 12 month are you getting the point now And as long we have to add a month to the 12 month, then those are, that's mean Allah is wrong. Are you following with me? The number of month, the number of months with Allah is a 12 in the book of Allah. Okay, so Muhammad, he now, he cannot, they came to him, they said, okay, Muhammad, you said it's the, 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 the year for Allah is 12 months. So what we would do with this month, we have to add to correct it. He said, this is kuffar, take it away. And by doing that, he destroyed Islam. Uh, hope, hope. My friend, if you Muslims can respond to me, you, will do, you, would, you, you should be calling me if you can't really respond. But you cannot, you talk to yourself, go ahead. Here we challenge Muslim, we say, call me. There, you go and you say, I want to respond to him. All, all Muslim kids, they respond to me. Go ahead and you make a video too. But people are laughing. Like now, can you respond? What is your response? Here we go, bring your CC, Fufu, Mimi, I don't care. You cannot. How Muhammad deleted a very important month to correct the calendar. How Allah, he adopted the wrong calendar. He adopt the wrong calendar, but you don't adopt with it. What come with it? So he deleted this month, and now your religion is screwed. Can you respond to me and say to me, why the month of Ramadan come in July, and then come in January, and then it come in February, 
Can you respond to me and say, okay, the night of power, okay, the night of power when? In January, February, March, April, May, June, July. How can be, how that can be true? If this is a night of power and this night, keep moving around. So either Muhammad is a liar, and or there is really a night of power. If there is a really not night of power, it's a unique night. That's mean the date should not be changed. But as you see, this is your Islamic website, not my website. Laylatul Qadr observation. Okay, starting from 2016, for sure you can go and see more. You will see you go all over the year. So if Muhammad really is following a true God and there is a night of power or night of destiny as you call it, then this night should be known. Your prophet do not even know when it is. Your prophet keep guessing. Your prophet claim that Allah made him forget it. Are you going to respond? A prophet who forgot the most important moment in his life. So Allah have time to remind Muhammad about what happened to Suleiman when he spoke to the ant. Which one is more important? Who care about Suleiman speaking to the ant? <laughs> this is about your religion now. Suleiman, is, if we take the chapter 18 all of it from the Quran, we'll not add anything to the Quran. Who cares if certain man he was speaking to the ant, there is seven sleepers, uh, there is a, a spider, and uh, you know, uh, there's a bird, uh, there's a woman have hair, no hair in her legs, uh, she have a nice throne, what, 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 what does this have to do with religion? But this, the night which is equal to 83 years, where we can find it, it's gone. Why my month are called okay, just to show you the stupidity. Why your calendar, your months are named after pagan god? Well, you 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 are the one who is following pagan calendar, you idiot. Who is the one who named the calendar of the Arab? <laughs> who is the one called Hajj? The, the, the pagan. Who is the one called Ramadan? The pagan. All those months are pagan months. I mean, you're silly, stupid. Very silly. However, my friend, my calendar is going by the date of Christ. Your salary is paid by the date of Christ. The computer you are using, the phone you are using is running by the date of Christ. You like it or not, you are under his date and time and physic. Hmm. <clears throat> Why you don't read Talmud? Okay, hold on, just to show you how stupid you are. Why you don't have it? Are you scared of the Jews too? Just to show you the stupidity, how desperate they are. Okay, why you don't read Talmud? Because we don't approve it. The question for you now. As long as you Muslim, you're saying that you follow the Jews. Why you don't read Talmud yourself? Are you scared of the Jews? <laughs> Let me show you who is scared of the Jews. This is your prophet, the prophet of the potatoes. When he saw a Jew, he do pee pee in his pant. A Jew was walking by and Muhammad was praying over the crops in a funeral. A Jew just said to Muhammad, this is how we do it. Do you know what Muhammad he said? Sit down, sit down, act differently. Who is the one who is scared of the Jews? He changed his prayer just because a Jew, he said, this is how we do it. A Jew who read the Talmud, as you said, he said to Muhammad, this is how we do it. What Muhammad he did? He said, doing puppy. He said, down, sit down, act differently. What happened? Was Muhammad praying as Allah told him, or he was praying as he wished? If he is praying as he wished, that means he is a false prophet. If he is praying as Allah told him to pray, then he should not change it. So just because a Jew walked by and he said to him, this is how we do it, you change the way to pray?
So who is the one who is afraid of the Jews? If we go and see Jesus speaking to the Jews, when Jesus, the Jews, they came to him, they said, look, they are breaking the Sabbath. Jesus said to them, that Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. Jesus did not say, sit down, sit down, act differently. He refuted them. It's called Terence. Guys, act differently is Terence. People, people, look at this. Look at this comedy. Brothers, sisters, the prophet is holding them to act differently. Tolerance, he killed them. And what this uh, praying differently is Terence. What does this have to do with this? <laughs> it's called Terence. <laughs> Even humiliated, my friend, by the Jews. And not only that, you Muslim, you claim that you believe in religion called Tawheed, correct? Let me show you who is the one who taught your prophet Tawheed. Your prophet is a mushrik, he is a pagan. If we go, we will find here your prophet, a Jew, he came to him. And he said to him, you are associating God with God. You are a kafir. You are a filthy kafir. Read carefully. The one who taught Muslims to believe in one God is a Jew. The prophet of Islam is a false man. And this is hadith is sahih. You cannot say to me this is fake, not accepted. You know the game? You know the game, right? Look. Narrated from Abdullah ibn Yasir, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. A Jew. Who? A Jew. Khabibi. Khabibi Muhammad. He came to him. What he said to him, a Jew came to the prophet and he said, you are setting up revives to Allah, to God. He didn't say Allah. And associating other with him. What the heck? A Jew is a school in Muhammad, spanking him, open in the cloud. Saying to Muhammad, you are a fake prophet, you are a fraud, and you are associating with God. Listen carefully. Did Muhammad say you are wrong? No. Did Muhammad say to him, no, 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 I don't do that? No. Muhammad he agreed. Look, you say whatever Allah wills and you will. And you command him. Okay, and then, and you say by the Kaaba, you swear by the Kaaba, you can swear by stone. So the Prophet command them if they wanted to swear an oath to say by the Lord of the Kaaba and to say whatever Allah will and you will. So the Jew, he corrected the worship of Muhammad. Look at Muhammad Sa'id. I mean, stupidity is amazing. Look what, the, what this have to do. The prophet, he used to have a wife. She is a Jew, so what? What does this have to do with his wife? And by the way, she is his wife. He, she is his sex slave. He killed her husband. He killed her father. He killed her brothers. And then he took her as a sex slave before you claim to be his wife. So shut up. And what this have to do with my topic? The prophet, he have a wife, she is a zoo, so what? What this have to do with my topic? So now if I have a wife, she is a Muslim, that will make me a prophet? In China, they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. How you are a prophet teaching people to believe in one God and you are doing false practice? This is the question. And how you agree with the Jew and you do as the Jew he told you? This is the question. He has a wife, she is a Jew. No, she is not his wife, she is a sex slave. Because when you take a woman from her husband after you kill him and then you claim that you married her, you did not marry her. First, she is married. There's no divorce happen. It's not like her husband let her go. You killed her father. You killed her brother. You killed her husband. And you rape her before even she leave her tent. And then you claim that this is a... He married a Jewish woman. Is that a marriage? So now if I go and I kidnap a, 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 a woman and then I kill her father, I kill her husband, and then I say she is my wife now. You know, the Muslim, they make fun, they say, in the book of Numbers, it says, take their young virgins, go and read. Go and read. He cannot even sleep with her unless he marry her. And not only that, he is not even allowed to touch her. Here, the same, not even the same night. 
But this is not our topic. How a Jew is teaching the people who believe in the oneness of God how to oneness God. This is a huge, my friend. This is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud. And look, he adjusts. He adjusts how Muslims they take oath. Who a Jew? Who is the one who taught Muhammad how to take an oath? A Jew. It's not your prophet. And the proof in front of you. And as you see, this is Sahih. So what you will say, it's a lie? Thank you, C1. What you will say, it's a lie? Why she didn't complain? Guys, look at this guy. Why she didn't complain? She be a rape. She should complain to who? United Nation? This, this is Muhammad Said. Muhammad Said, when the last time you have a diarrhea, my friend? Be honest with me. When the last time you noticed that you are suffering from diarrhea? When she did not complain? Complain to who? She would be killed. <laughs> you know, she's kidnapped by ISIS. She will go to ISIS office and make a complaint. <laughs> diarrhea. You know, there's many kinds of diarrhea. There's a diarrhea of liquidation of stupidity, where instead of it going down, it go up into your brain. You are suffering from diarrhea, my friend. Bad diarrhea. When she didn't complain. Stupid. Unbelievable. She didn't complain. She complained to who? To the one who was raping her? Why she didn't complain on her love? Where she will go to complain? Where, where she will go? She will contact the United Nations office? Stupidity. And you know, this is why the Chinese, they say they left as a donkey, never come back as a horse, I understand. Right? The area. So if you, look, if you look at the Muslim, uh, uh, you know, comment, you will see how much desperate and how much they are unable to answer. So let us summarize our questions. Starting from the last one, how a Jew make you, correct you, correct your prophet about how to oneness God, how to believe in one God, how not to say things lead you into shirk. How you must then you claim that the Jews are lost, the Christians are lost, and then a Jew is schooling your prophet, teaching him how to be a believer. How your prophet changed his prayer just because a Jew, he said, this is how we do it. Is the prayer coming from Allah or from a Jew? How you pray and you say, there's a night called the night of power, yet this night is unknown. Even your prophet don't remember where it is. How your prophet, he says, that it is in the end of Ramadan and different hadith says in the beginning of Ramadan. And how Ramadan is the month when the night of power came, when Ramadan can be in July, can be in December, can be in January. So how we will know? And what kind of God he delete a month which the Arab used to add to the calendar to correct it, claiming that this is a sign of kufr. This is an act of kufr, actually. Why he deleted? Why, why he deleted? Why he deleted the month which is correct in the calendar? By doing that, why? Because he said to them in different place that the, the uh, Allah for Allah, Allah he have a twelve month, right? but he have a wrong twelve month because if the twelve month is the correct one, that's it. This means you have a wrong twelve month. So he fought against it, claiming that this is an act of kufr by adding one month. When you are going to debate Shabir Ali, uh, Jannah, are you serious, Jannah? I don't know what's wrong with Muslims. 
where are those people coming to me from? Where you are going to the bishop? They keep mentioning to me names, but we invite them all. We keep saying, look, even in my, in, in, when you look at my, uh, in the default, it says, welcome Shabir Ali, welcome everybody. Where are they? They don't call us, they don't dare. Last time they asked Shabir Ali, why you don't debate with some friends? What he said, he is doing based, you know. No, actually, there's another video, hold on. <laughs> they ask him when you are going to debate Shabir Ali, debate Christian Prince. Yeah, you have the answer. <clears throat> the mic right there. Hello? Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question. Uh, Shabir, when will you, uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? So thank you very much. Yeah, I, 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 for those of you who don't know Christian <laughs> Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality who has been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast as far as I can remember. Uh, he contacted... Uh, uh, he contacted me. I never contacted him. Uh, he uh, contacted me. Uh, no, no, I did not. Uh, 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 well, uh, when you are going to debate Christian Prince? Uh, 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 okay. Mike right there. Hello? Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question, uh, Shabir, when will you, uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? So thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality who has been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast as far as I can remember. Uh, he contacted me a long time ago mm -hmm. asking if I would debate him and I said yes. Uh, Yes, and then I bought his book. And since I know that his book is a scary, I decided not to debate him. <laughs> and and then uh, eventually I bought his book. Uh, and um, uh, then I, I don't want to say anything about him because he's not here. But, but... Yeah, he bought my book. First he said yes. Then he noticed that this is a guy he has no match to. He will be broken into pieces with no glue after that. He said to himself, let me save my career. All of them, they saved their career. This is why they don't want to debate me. Do you notice all of them, even like their kid, Mimi, he said, don't debate Christian Prince. We called him, he hung up on me seven times, and we did not even talk. Where's the debate? He played for me video. Did you say that? Did you say this? You have 30, 30 seconds to answer. <laughs> <laughs> they will they are willing to debate anyone and uh, you know uh, and by the way Shabir Ali according to Muslim is a kafir too you go and see how many videos they are posted against him the same as Yasser Qadi Islam is a mess Islam is a joke I mean it doesn't matter who you are somebody from this cult will attack you I don't know how many of you watch my debate with the with the guy from what's his name. The same, you know, ABN TV. They invited me to to debate Shabir Ali. It's not me. I, I don't contact him. You know. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> if you see my debate with this uh, Hisham Al Husseini. If you go to the original video, you will see the Muslims accusing me that I paid him to make Islam look stupid. I mean, the guy is a big sheikh. He has the, the biggest mosque in Michigan. I paid him. This is a fake debate. You know? Uh, this person, uh, he is not a real Muslim. <laughs> He is not a real Muslim. What you can do about it? You see the comment, you will die laughing. That's amazing. Because they could not explain how silly Islam is. So what they will say? They keep saying to you, why well, you didn't debate scholars? Okay, what is your scholars? Where is your scholars? Bring them. I never said no. Actually, I am trying my best not even to take calls from kids. I want to take calls from scholars. All of you, where is your scholars? 
So when we get this guy, and he start you know uh, uh, saying the propaganda, and then we start giving him what he deserve, what he did. Go watch the video. And by the way, for the first time, we have a full translation for it. Uh, a Middle Eastern Christian and one Indonesian person. This is the channel. I will post the link for you. Uh, they did the translation, and I think he now he have a translation in the, in the Indonesian language, so you can watch the whole uh, debate, uh, me and him, uh, and you be the judge. You know, translation is very good actually. So they can have debate, they can have answer, they can have etc. They cry, you know, and then you know right away when you start spanking them, they say this is guy is a Zionist. It was Zionist. What is I'm, I'm a Zionist. Yeah, he, was, he cannot explain what's happening. He's a Zionist. Uh, you know, you, know, is he, you are a Zionist. <laughs> if you go and see at the end of the video, you will see that, that the Sheikh is flying from his chair. I keep asking the same question. The same question he will never answer. They will never answer because you have no answers. And each time it's my time to end. You know, this is why I don't like those five minutes, uh, you know, like five minutes for you, five, because, you know, here we go. We spent two hours talking. He did not answer. Do you see why I don't like them? Those five minutes, five minutes for you, five minutes for him. It's a joke. He looks stupid, yes. But at the end of the day, still, it's a it's a joke, you know, because simply uh, he was able to avoid all answering or any any anything. Commercial ad. Yeah, and people they people they make phone calls too. الشيخ الحسيني يبكي وهو الذي وافق على عنوان الموضوع إذا كنت لا تواثق لا تواثق لماذا أتيت alright <coughs> were you كدياني before جنة don't give me stupid questions I never been a Muslim or anything because I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second how you can be a Kadayani or anything, or even to, to follow Muhammad. How in the world anyone can believe there's a God? If you believe in him and you kill some Christian and Jews, God will give you women with big boobs. I mean, how silly are you? It's an insult. How you can believe in such a cult? Believe in me, I will give you big boobs. What is that? This is God? The God of boobies? So when you when you ask questions, ask yourself: are, are you serious? How shallow we are as a human being! Islam is an insult to humanity. He doesn't even say women; he say big boobs. Who is the one want to believe in such a garbage? Uh, good girl, I don't, I don't want to debate you. Sorry, because your your book says that you are half a brain, and if I speak to you, Muslim, they will make a drama about it. Send your dad. Good girl, a good girl. She want to talk to me. Where is the good Muslims? Where is the Muslim men? There's no men left. A good girl. She want to debate me. Debate me about what? You want to tell me that the prophet? He, you agree with him that the prophet says we can beat you? Is that what you believe? Do you agree that the prophet, when he said, if you call him a prophet, that beating women is right? You want to debate me about that? And what if I win the debate, I will beat you then? <laughs> huh? So guys, imagine, she is a Muslim, and now she want to debate me about beating women, and she want to prove to me that beating women is right. So at the end of the debate, what I will do, beat you? If you win? I 
I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to understand what a Muslim good girl and debate. What are you talking about? Your religion consider you half a brain, even you are not even equal to a witness in the court. Debate, yeah. And what if you, what if I you won and I decide to like have four wives? <laughs> Go on, bring your husband to debate me, if he dare. Let a man call me. Do we have any brave Muslim? You cannot actually be in your stability if you accept to be a woman and to accept to be a Muslim at the same time, unless you accept to be a slave. Because when the Quran says, beat them, and the Muslim explain, well, if your son, he made something wrong, don't you beat him? Don't you spank him? So your wife, she is like your son. If you spank your son, you are teaching her how to behave by spanking her. Is that God? Is that religion? Go away, half a brain. Let a man call me. Where is the Muslim man? Anyone left? There is no Muslim man left? Yeah, actually, you know, actually, I think those, by the way, be careful from those people here. They come, uh, you know, they post website for porn and etc. You know, obviously, I was trying just to get. Uh, attention so people will click at her name uh, Muhammad saying CP please answer my question if you are 100% sure that Christianity is a true okay don't have any doubt about that and you don't have any doubt about that what do you mean I don't see how I am a Christian and I have a doubt about it then I will not be called myself a Christian why want to do that? Who's forcing me? You see, if I am an atheist, YouTube will not stop donation to me from YouTube. They stop it because I'm a Christian. There's a lot of benefit if you are an atheist. Facebook, Twitter, everybody fight you because you are a Christian. If you are an atheist, they will support you. This is the truth. I deleted all my account in Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, because it's, it's, it's a joke. You have a freedom of speech if you are a Muslim or if you are an atheist. If you are a Christian, they block you. This is the truth. As simple as that. Anyway, who need them? You see, I said to myself, who need, you know, I mean, if you try to stop me, there's no way you can stop me. Even if you kill me, by the way, my books will be more popular, way more popular, even in my death. I have tens of thousands of videos. I do not need Facebook. I do not need anyone. Even if I stop doing what I am doing, I am in the comfort mood because I spent many, many, many years exposing this cult. I have thousands and thousands of videos, and each one of them is a disaster. You cannot stop me. They try their best. They spread lies about you, rumors. You know, once I came, I was in the army. I came from the army. They were celebrating. They, they have a chat room in Paltok. It's just celebrating the death of a Christian prince. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> so I said I went to Paltok. I spoke to the co-admin, and I said to him, "There's a room. It's open. It says celebrate. Do you allow that?" He said, so "What's the problem?" He said, "Well, I am a Christian prince." So he said to me, "So are you saying you are not dead?" <laughs> yeah, this co-admin for sure he is suffering from diarrhea too, in the brain. <clears throat> oh. 
the Kaaba okay somebody saying here a question I have a good question ask Abdul about uh, their God the Kaaba as a big monastic area it is a holy you see my friend the Kaaba to prove to the Muslim that the Kaaba is not from God it's very easy let me show you it take you two seconds Take you what? Two seconds. You don't even need to debate. Remember what the Muslims say. They say the Kaaba is an, a ground where it's chosen by Allah. Okay. If Allah is the one who chose in the location of the Kaaba, why he chose the worst place in Mecca so all the sewage will come and flood it? You do not even need to debate. Just search for the images about the flood on Mecca. On the Kaaba. You see it? Okay, so this is a God who chose location in the whole earth. He could not find a location except the lower part of Mecca and where the flood and the sewage come. See those pictures taken by Muslims, not by us. So do I need to debate about it that this is from God? No, it's over. Can't God use his finger? This God Allah, the one who has five fingers as Muslim they claim. Can't he raise the Kaaba by his finger a little bit, the ground? So that no, no water will touch it? Very easy. Very easy. Yeah, you know, the, the, uh, uh, there's, no, there's no sewage in Mecca. They use, uh, you know, like hole. They, they 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 make a hole in the ground, and the people go there. So when the flood come, everything flood. Everything will come out. And everything will go down to to the Kaaba. Okay, so God is the one who chose the location. Is that the correct location? Did Allah make a mistake? Did He choose the wrong location? Obviously, this is going to be from God. Imagine you have an engineer company and you hire them to choose for you the best location for your house. And then every year, the sewage come and cover your house. And this is a holy house of God. This is what? This is the holy house of God. Uh, Jawad saying, do you think you are going to heaven? My friend, you ask God about who is going to go to heaven, not me. For me, I do my, my what I believe is right. And then God, he is the one who decides who goes to heaven, who is not. And whatever God he decides for me, I will. I am sure he is all justice. None of my business to, you know, I. you see, let what to God to God and let what to yourself to do yourself. I cannot tell God, hey, God, you have to take me. I'm a good, a good person. First of all, there's no good person in this earth. Nobody. Anyone he says to you, or he claims to be a good person, he's a liar. But good between a human is relative to how much sin they commit. So all of us, we sinner. But there is people that are extreme with their evil. There's people they have less evil. There's people they have almost nothing. But everybody is a sinner. So it's not to me to tell God what to do. To me is to tell myself what I should do in order to be with him. And again, no human deserves to go to heaven. But God is about justice. He knew your weakness. He knew that you are striving, trying your best, or the opposite. So he considered the weakness which he gave you as part of your creation. And because of that, he is just. He is not going to judge you because you are God and perfect. He is going to judge you as a weak person who commits sin. 
but he knew how much evil you have inside you or much love you have for it, for him. So if you are a person, Jesus said, love your enemy. Okay, so if I say now, I'm not going to love the Muslims, then I'm not following Jesus, so I'm going to go to heaven. Love your enemy, they hate me, I know. But either I follow the teaching of Christ, and that will make me a Christian, or I don't. And this is why Christianity is not easy. Not like Muhammad says, if you say 100 times, Subhanallah, you go to heaven. We don't have such a garbage, which doesn't make sense. Saying Subhanallah 100 times, praise be to Allah, that will make me go to heaven? How is that? You don't do that with Jesus. Actually, Jesus, he said the opposite. He said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So there's many people, they keep saying, Jesus, 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 we love Jesus. And they wave their hands to Jesus. But in reality, they kill, they rape, they steal, they do all kind of garbage. And yet, those are more evil than the one who says, I am a sinner, because they claim to be good. This is why the Bible warns us about those who come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So he will come to you wearing a priest's clothes. He's a priest, you know, but maybe he's a child molester like Muhammad. So with the Christ is not worshiping God by tongue, you go to heaven. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Again, it's not the fruit is saving you, but the fruit is a proof of your quality. It's like, you know, when you want to find out if this is gold or not, how you do it. The gold have a quality. It doesn't rust. I noticed that Muslims, they are so busy asking themselves questions because Islam is very confusing religion. Even your prophet, he says, your work will not help you, which is a contradiction for everything he said in the Quran. He said that your deed will not save you, but the mercy of Allah. Do you see the hadith? And you must have, you keep saying, hey Christians, are you going to be saved by the grace or by the, the work? Supposedly you are making it difficult for us. The answer is very simple. Even your prophet is trying to copy from us. And if you read carefully what Muhammad said here, you will notice that everything Muhammad he said, how we can match this with this? If you say 100 times, praise be to Allah, you go to heaven, and then he says to you, your work will not save you. Something wrong there. Something very wrong. Don't text me in Pal Talk. Only Muslim can text me. If you text me in Pal Talk, I will block you. I'm not in Pal Talk right now. I don't even read the the the, uh, the text you will send me. Uh, so anyway, as you notice, Islam is based on nothing. It's just a you know a collection of fiction stories. Nothing makes sense. Uh, okay, the night of power, but we do not know what 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 sent down by this power. Allah did not even say. The verses are missing a lot of things. Nothing, nothing there to learn from. There is no religion in the religion. You see, when they say to you, Islam is a religion. Okay, religion of what? A good girl, you change your name to Hassan. Okay, so now what you did? You you did the, uh, you cut it off. So we read the we reveal the Quran in the night of destiny. They lie. It doesn't say we reveal the Quran. Nowhere the word Quran in the holy chapter. No Quran is mentioned. You can do this, by the way. You can take this and you can click a translate to English, and you will find that this is nowhere it says the word Quran. Where is the word Quran coming from? Nowhere. Why Allah don't add it if it's about the Quran? Is Allah short of words? You know, one of the funny things Muhammad he said, 
that the Quran is explained in details. What we did, we explain in details. Okay, so why the hadith is there? Read carefully and laugh. When we show them, okay, where it says this, where it says that, where you get this from, you say to you, read the tafsir. But the Quran says you do not need tafsir. You do not. Full explanation of the book. You Muslims have full explanation of the Quran in the Quran. Where? Would it you be correct to believe? Okay, let's answer this question and we finish for today. Um, would it be correct to believe that Islam is invented by the Jews that we are against Christianity? No, that's not true. But I can say to you that you notice that Muhammad, he went as a refugee and he lived between the Jews. So it is highly possible that the Jews, they thought about him as just a cult against Christianity. So let us sponsor him. Let us protect him. They gave him refuge. And then he killed them all. He took over their city. So uh, uh, Muhammad, obviously, he is not like, you know, you see many people, they say many like fabricated stories like the Jews created Islam or even the Catholic, which is very silly. But no, Muhammad don't have a religion. Muhammad is a person trying to, at his time, even the Muslim, they say in his time, there's many, many people in his time, in the same time, claiming to be prophets. Women, she claimed to be a prophet. A man claimed to be a prophet. So there's many people they are claiming to be prophets. Muhammad was in comp competing with the rest. And in order to get rid of them, he killed them. He did not debate them. He killed them. He did not win by a debate. He won by killing them all. So it's a, it's a time when prophethood is a business. Same as now, by the way. If you go right now and see those who claim to be prophet, they need the most high income you can imagine. They live like kings. It's a big business. And Muhammad is no different. <clears throat> okay. Uh, You know, I'm thinking actually to the to uh, uh, to disable the chat uh, for some time because many people they are coming here not really to learn and not to uh, uh, educate themselves, but to insult and call names and to say stupid things. You know, uh, because I'm looking at the chat now. You know, I don't see really. I see people calling names. Uh, you want to debate somebody? Yeah, you know, debate him. You see, if somebody is stupid, say stupid, no problem. But there is no need for silly stuff. He's a stupid, he's stupid. He can call you stupid too. Maybe you are the one who's stupid. You know? But just be, you know, just be like, be real. If you want to prove a person wrong, prove him wrong. Yeah, I think a chat is a joke and there's nothing there but people calling each other names. Uh, always remember one thing, that we are coming here to educate people about the truth. And every hour I spend here is like thousands of books explode in front of you. It's a process of teaching and learning. 
we are not here to say certain words even when the Muslims I believe they are wrong sometimes they are silly sometimes they say stupid things I feel for them I'm not against them I'm here to support them actually I'm not here to support the Christians Jesus said I am here for the sick not for the healthy I'm no better than Jesus I cannot even be close to his feet. So if you cannot be like that, please don't come here. If you are a Muslim or a Christian, if you are here taking, coming just to insult, to be stupid, just leave. We want decent people who they are looking for the truth. If you are a Mujahid, you want to kill me, come and do it. Don't tell me about it. Be man. Those who say it, they don't do it. Those who want to do it, they will not say it. If you are a person who enjoy using filthy language, you cannot wash your mouth, well, stay away. Go to your bathroom. Yet nobody can answer us, and nobody can refute us, and nobody can prove us wrong. This is the important. So I think from now on, I will stop the chat totally. Because I noticed we have a lot of kids. We know. And the internet, you do not know you are talking to whom. I mean, maybe there's a dot, there's thieves, there's hackers, there's hookers, there's all kind of people. And people can be really evil. And I don't want my chat to be a place where the bad ones gathering. I want the Muslim to watch this video carefully because this video later will be loaded in different channels. Be honest with yourself. Be decent with yourself. And try not to fool yourself. I understand you are a believer. Believe, no problem. But believe should not stop you from being smart. Believe should not stop you from being genuine. If this man is a prophet, how all those things we said today in this video are true? And if they are not true, why they are on the screen? Why they are there? And as an example, what this verse is about? When somebody is saying the one who makes lies about the, the the Quran, who is that person? Go and read the story behind you will die laughing. Did they accuse him that he is taking Quran from somebody? Is it true? Is it true that Muhammad he add verses because his scriber he you know he said something he liked it, he put it there, and the guy he left Islam? Is it true? As an example, when he says that Allah is the best of the creators. When we show you the Jew, the Jewish guy, he is correcting Muhammad, saying to him, you are not worshiping true God by saying one God, by saying this, you should say that. And then Muhammad, he agree. And he ordered the Muslim to do as the Jew said. How that can be a prophet of God, corrected by a normal Jew? It should be the opposite. Supposedly the one who sent to correct the Jew is Muhammad, not the Jew coming to, cor to correct Muhammad. How that can be true? How this funny prophet he says something and then the opposite he do how he can change his religion prayer just because a jew he said this is how we do it how this is can be true how i'm a prophet who teaching you about worshiping god and then suddenly a person he come to me he is just a jew and he said to me, hey, 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 you are not doing it right. 
this is associating with God what you are doing. And then I take what the Jew said and I order my followers to do as the Jew said. But remember, he's a prophet. He did not say to the Jew, imagine somebody call me right now and he said to me, and he's a Muslim or he's a Jew, he says to me, you are by doing this, you are not following Jesus. And then I say, okay, okay you, are, you are right. But the problem can be solved if I'm just a normal person. And there's a person who have maybe more knowledge than me, correct me. But I am a prophet of God. And then a Jew walking down the street, he correct me. Correct me about what? About the oneness of God. The essence of Islam supposedly is the oneness of God. Christianity is bad because they say we believe in three persons and one God, which is still oneness of God anyway. The Jews, they believe that there's a son of Allah, his name is Uzair, which is false. There's nowhere in the Bible we can find that. And then we find that the one who corrected the false Muhammad is a Jew. Where was Allah? Allah is not there to tell Muhammad when the night of power is. Allah the Quran is missing the word Quran to say this day we send the Quran. Nowhere in the Quran it says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Muslims they have to make their own conclusion. Quran is a book of what? Is it a book of guidance or the book of confusion? That a question my friend I will leave you with it. And as you see, because we disabled the chat, we drop from 1,020 something to 986. So all the garbage gone. I'm so glad. The good ones, they stay. The garbage, they leave. They are coming here just for the chat. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And please be nice to the Muslims. And you might say to me, to me, uh, tell yourself, you say the word is stupid, you say stupid is about being nice. Because this is the only word can describe a truth. You're being stupid. If your son is taking drugs, what you say to him, you're right, you're smart. So if you use a description in the right place, on the right time, for the right person, that is not meant to be an insult. It's not. Actually, if I say to you, you are clean and your clothes are dirty, obviously I'm making fun of you because this is not the truth. But yet I'm saying something nice. I'm saying you are clean. It's like saying to a woman, she is a hooker, you are holy. You did not say to her something bad. You said you are holy, but obviously you are making a mockery, right? So saying the truth, can be offensive but because you care for the person not because you hate the person and this is how we should think about it when we speak to Muslims we care for them we don't hate them if we explain to the Muslims why killing people is wrong it's better than going and fighting them and we shed blood each other Otherwise, killing is easy to everybody. Very easy if you want to be a criminal. Which one is better? To start shooting each other? Or I say, hey, stupid, this is stupid, don't do that. And then if you listen, if you notice, he will change. He will agree, he will save his life and maybe my life. So when you teach somebody that violence is wrong, you are saving the killer and the victim, not only the victim. For at the end of the day, those who teach you violence, they are teaching you to be a victim. You are not the killer anyway. You are killing yourself. You destroy your future, you destroy your salvation, you destroy even your, your life. You go to bed, you will dream about people you slaughtered about people you hurt, about people you, you damage their life. If you think you can get away from your crimes, you are mistaken. 
everybody will pay for his crime. The Lord, he says, those who live by the sword will die by the sword. Don't make the sword your life. Actually, the sword is an act of weakness, not an act of strength. The sword can be an act of strength if the purpose of it is to fight against evil to support the weakness. Like somebody is weak and somebody is strong. Somebody is powerful coming to rape a woman, as an example. Then you have to stand up and defend that woman. But you are not using your violence to be evil. You are stopping the violence. For this is the last chance. So, always consider the Muslims or people who need your help. You yourself, if you are born in a Muslim family, you will do the same. You will be speaking against Christianity. Because this is how you grow. This is how your family is. This is how you learned. You don't know better. So either you are here to help them, or you are here just to fight. Well, those who they are seeking fight, you do not need to come to the internet to fight. Internet is where we talk. It's not where we fight. It's where we exchange ideas and knowledge. The Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them, and be sure that your fruit is good. Thank you very much for being here. And let me know what you think about keeping the chat disabled. I'm sure we will have way less more people watching, but I think it's better to have less people from having evil people with us. Thank you. God bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Take care.